Brian Yenis is live in San Juan with more on all of this. Brian. Sandra, good morning. This is the front line. It has been the front line over the last, now today, 11 days of protests. This is La Fortaleza at the end of this road. That is the governor's mansion. And this is where police first confront protesters. And if you see this morning in old San Juan, this is rubber bullet casings that are all over the roads here in Old San Juan. You can see the bullet casing there. These are all over the place here, and even the smell of tear gas still in the air. Last night, take a look at this video. There was confrontation after the police had, they say, they had warned protesters four times to stop throwing rocks, and at that point, they didn't. So they obviously unleashed tear gas, and people had to disperse throughout the streets. Uh, we don't have any word on injuries. But we do know that one car was lit on fire here from one of those tear gas canisters. This on a historic day, by the way, earlier in the Day, take a look at this video. Some 500,000 protesters estimated to walk Las Americas Expressway, blocking the highway, protesting and asking for Governor Ricardo Rosselló to resign because they believe he is corrupt and there's been mismanagement of millions of dollars. Well, you know, in that interview with Shepard Smith, the governor said that he named one person who supported him and he named the mayor of San Sebastian. This is him, by the way. His name is Javier Jimenez. Well, we spoke to Javier Jimenez last night via FaceTime and he says he doesn't support the governor at all. I am not supporting him. Of course not. That is totally incorrect. I'm not advocating for him to stay for the next year and for a month. All I am saying is that his, his resignation needs to follow the process set by our Constitution. Rosselló came out with a Facebook Live video before speaking to our Shepard Smith. By the way, Rosselló has not spoken to Puerto Rican media at all, so when he spoke to Shep, that made headlines here. You know who isn't a fan of Rosselló as well? That is the President of the United States, who had this to say yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon. The governor has done a terrible job. You have incompetent, totally grossly incompetent, leadership at the top of Puerto Rico. The people of Puerto Rico are great. All right, coming in, coming in. If you look over here, there are boarded up uh, businesses here throughout Old San Juan. And all the way down there, you see somebody who's repainting. There's been graffiti that's been all over Old San Juan. Every single day, they repaint as if it's new again because there are tourists coming in. By the way, I spoke to some people here, Sandra, throughout the days that I've been here. And they say they, are, they want the mainland in the United States and D.C. to apply more pressure, even going as far as to say they want D.C. to hold back any money uh, for the government until Rosselló resigns. Sandra. Very interesting developing story there. Brian Yanis, thank you.